What's up planner babes? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with my Gold Mine and Coco adult coloring book. And I wanted to come in today and just color. Just color in my coloring book. I feel like doing something really relaxing and I'm just going to play some music and I'm going to um, color here in my book. So I'm going to use my uh, Prisma colored pencils. I do have this box of pencils. I got this box from there are 132 pencils in here and I got this box from Michaels and it has I mean a lot of beautiful colors and I love it because there are lots of colors I can use in here for skin tones and you know I like to color my well, you don't know that. I don't know if you've ever seen me color anything before, but I do like to color my girls different beautiful shades of brown. Okay, so I'm going to color in here using these Prismas. And I think I'm going to color. I'm kind of nervous, y'all. Nervous, I really am, but I think I want to color. Oh, she is so pretty. I love her. But I think I want to color this Black Panther girl. I think this is the first one, you know, I'm calling her that. That's, I don't know that that's what she's supposed to be. But I think I'm going to call her the Black Panther girl. And I think this is the first one I'm going to color. And here's what I'm going to do. Because a lot of times I have noticed when I color in coloring books, and I do have several, um, that sometimes when you close the book, the colors transfer from whatever page you were coloring on to the opposite page. And I really do not like that. So um, what I'm going to try is to put a piece of vellum. Once I finish coloring this page, I'm going to put a piece of vellum in here. And I may even attach it down with some clear tape just so it will stay here. And then um, I might even put one little sticker or something on top of this vellum. You know, just to give it a little accent. And then I can close the book up and I don't have to worry about the color from this picture that I just finished transferring over to here. If anything, it'll transfer on to the vellum and that's no problem because it's going to be covering it. So I'm going to try it and see if that will work to solve my problem. Okay, so if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome. I do hope you find some inspiration here and that you will consider hitting that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the fun right here on this channel. On this channel, I talk about all things related to planning, planners, planner accessories, all kinds of goodies that us planner babes like, and adult coloring books is one of the things that some of us like. So I am going to uh, color in this book today. So if you are already a part of the Piece of the Plans fam, thank you so much for coming back. And if you want to see how my coloring comes together in my Gold Mine and Cocoa book, just stick around. All right, so I'm going to start off by finding some skin tones that I like. And I'm just going to um, use a piece of scrap paper that's here beside my desk. And I'm going to grab my pencil sharpener, just a regular old little Dollar Tree, or I think I got this from Staples actually, pencil sharpener. And I'm going to look for a couple of shades of brown. Oh yeah, I like this one already. Yeah, that's the one I want to go with. Um, and then I'm going to grab my black, or this is actually, this is black grape. And I might do her hair with this color, but let's see. And I might try to get a couple of um, other skin tones just to kind of change up. Make sure she has some depth to her face. Now, I'm not a professional artist at all, but I do know I like to see different, you know, different skin, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just like different layers or different um, aspects of the skin color when I'm coloring. All right, so I'm going to sharpen my pencils up, and then we're going to get to it. 
So this first color that I have, this is from Prisma. This first one is called Sienna Brown, which is kind of close to my skin tone. And then the second one I think I might use on her hair to like give some um, dimension to her hair is Black Grape. And then this next one, I don't want to use it. That says dark green. I want to find some black. I know I need some gray also to add some texture to her hair. And I might grab this. Uh, this is Sienna. Okay, so I've got Sienna Brown. I'm going to do the Sienna as well to add some dimension to her face. And I might even grab this peachy color. Yep, that's called peach. And then this pumpkin orange is also a good skin tone color, I think. Okay, and let me find my black, and then we're going to get going. Yeah, here's the black. And I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to color her outfit black with some pink, pink uh, pinstripes. So I'm going to grab, grab this pink, and it's called just pink. <laughs> and then this one is called blush pink. All right, so these are the colors I'm going to go with, and we are going to get started. So I'm going to start with the lightest skin tone that I'm going to build on top of that.
All right, y'all, this is my final product of my coloring book page in the Gold Mine and Cocoa coloring book. Let me see if I can get a good, a good angle for you. There we go. All right, so this is my first page that I have colored in this book. I think it turned out great. I think that layering the colors for the skin tone really makes a good um, end result. And the, and the skin tone doesn't look flat. And she's got on her black pinstripe suit and her beautiful curly hair. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, join me, you know, if you want to next time I'm coloring, you can just join me grab your coloring book and your pencils and I did use some um, gel pens at the end to color the buttons on her jacket and also to put some sparkle in her eyes I used the um, sparkly black gel pen so her eyes would sparkle a little bit I don't know if you can tell on camera um, I also used the mahogany red for her lips and also for her nails so they would match but I also put a peachy tone under the mahogany red just to give it some more depth and dimension. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already a part of the Peace of the Plans fam, hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the fun right here on this channel. I feel so relaxed now that I've had some coloring time. <laughs> so I hope that uh, you have a great week, Planner Babes. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, Peace. I'll see you next time.